Today we are taking a look at these jumping eggs over here, but our focus is on this thing over here. Now to gain access to the pet arena, you need to have your breeding at level 5, then you can fight there once a day. This is my units here. You put pig last, slime in the middle, and the defense guy first. Before we fight, let's take a look at the bonuses. Whenever you reach a certain round, you unlock a new bonus. So at round two, you get a third pet battle slot. At round five, you get a 25% library VIP membership, which is kind of a small building next to your library where you can buy star talent books. At round eight, you get 20% total damage. And at round 12, we get a new post office upgrade crate. And then as you can see, I have not unlocked the rest. At round 15, we unlock the fourth pet battle slot. At round 20, we get 1.5 times monster cash. At round 25, we get a new post office upgrade crate. At round 35, we get 50% kitchen upgrade cost. At round 50, we unlock a fifth pet battle slot. At round 65, we get a new post office upgrade crate. At round 80, we get a 60% VIP library membership. At round 100, we can equip a third large bubble. Wow, that was unexpected. That's the large bubbles you have in the alchemy. At round 125, we unlock the sixth pet battle slot. At round 150, we get 20% line width for all players. At 175, we get two times monster cash. And finally, the last bonus at round 200, which is 1.40 times total damage. An interesting thing about the pet arena is that it only has 50 waves of enemies and they repeat in a loop. Now I'm not gonna read all of them but I can uh, mention a few like at wave 25 you fight King Dude and at wave 50 you have a crystal cattle and dedicated ram and then you have all kinds of enemies in between those waves from 1 to 50. But let's actually start the fight now. Hopefully we can get a new post office upgrade crate. We begin the fight. Now you pretty much only spam these attacks. So you start from round one every time. So you can just blow through the early waves. Ooh, a tank is down. I can't remember what wave we needed for the new unlock. I think it was 12. Yes, it was 12. But it seems we are dying at round 10. And there we go. We are defeated. I can't really do anything else now. In 47 minutes is my reset. So you get one entry per 24 hours and you use eggs to unlock new pets. Very simple once you have gotten started. And then you can splice to get a higher breeding chance to get a new type of pet. But the stats of your pets are randomized. You can see here I have a 276, 155, 139, 143, 150. So I've been trying to get better than this, but I think this is pretty damn high. I got lucky here. And each pet have a special ability. See the Mimic have a shield. It's called Defender. Throws an armor shield, which gives 100% block chance to pets that it passes over and deals 50% damage. When in combat, all pets have 12% block chance. This is a passive ability he has. And the pig has a amplifier ability. Summons a spiral, which deals 100% damage and 50% more damage for each attack that moves through it. So this can build up to do thousands of damage. And when in combat, all pets have 10% crit chance. This is another pure combat character. Cursory shoots a cursed skull, which deals 50% damage and makes all future attacks deal 5% more damage. When in combat, pets in front and behind this one deal 1.5 times more damage. Damage. That's why I kept the slime in the middle. Anyway, that's it for this pet arena. There are a lot more to this breeding, but that will be in another video where we go over everything. But I need to unlock this section first. Well, it is unlocked, but only breedability and shiny can go to the fence yard. Good luck in the pet arena. Yeah, we are getting tons of good bonuses from that. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.